Okay, I'm used to speaking to large audiences, so um, is anybody who cannot hear me? Great. Okay, my name is Philip. I'm from the University of Johannesburg, and this is my root and responsibility model. I have a multidisciplinary work background and a multidisciplinary study background. Where are we? 2012. We are facing social and environmental violations, pollution, poor labor practices, unethical economic activities. People are suffering. Why? Maybe because of a lack of awareness, economic pressure, and or complacency. Consumerism. What is this? A concept that an ever-expanding consumption of goods is good for our economy. Why is this a problem? Continuous consumption of goods results in pollution of our world. How? Well, as we manufacture our goods, we require raw materials to be transformed into products that are suitable for sale to the public. There's my heater. In order to obtain the steel for that heater, every step of the production chain, fossil fuel, is used either directly or indirectly. I need to extract raw materials, and in doing so, I require drills. I then need to smelt, I need, then need smelting furnaces which use exceptionally high power, power that we cannot get from solar panels or wind. This is a root of the catalytic converter. It's a simplified example. If you're not familiar with the catalytic converter, this is an exhaust emission control device converting toxic chemicals in the exhaust of an internal combustion engine into less toxic substances. That is it. It's under your car. It takes the place of a normal silencer. It costs at least five or six times the price of a normal silencer. It's not only in luxury cars, with the Euro 4, the Euro 5, and coming of the Euro 6, we have a requirement for reduced emissions. It's made from platinum, palladium, rhodium, and iron. There's a 78% chance that these precious metals are from South Africa. Because we hold 90% of the world's known platinum group metal reserves. Yeah, you can see just on this outcrop, that's chromium. That's how rich the land is with minerals. There are many mining houses in South Africa, but the home of the largest platinum mine in the world is called Impala Platinum Mine in Rustenburg. That is an aerial picture of it. The miners need to go, on average, 800 meters deep to get that platinum. They are faced with challenges. Air ventilation, dust, water cooling, it's so dark in the mine, it looks like it's light, but if they switch off the LED lamps, you can't see this. The mine is powered by coal-fired power station. This is the Onot power station in Pomalanga. To give you some contextual information about Impala Platinum, there you can see the workers being dispersed by the South African police services. These workers are frustrated. They have just been on a strike for six weeks. They did not get paid. Why do they strike? They want higher wages. If the owners of production can, can, can wait out the strike, then the workers don't get their increased pay. But unfortunately, in this strike and the low demand for platinum, the owners of production did not give in, and the miners are frustrated. They live there. They are faced with corruption, safety issues, mining rights issues. Okay, so we got the platinum from the mine. 239 tons of the platinum sold. More than half is for catalytic converters. Then jewelry and even anti-cancer drugs requiring platinum. If we look at the statistics, the key statistics, call it the balance sheet of Impala Platinum. Look how much coal they used in order to get platinum out of the ground. 98,000 tons. All their energy comes from coal. Never mind water. 12 million 
12,254,000 kiloliters of fresh water used to get the platinum from the ground. So that's 12 billion liters from one mine. We've got the raw materials. Now we need to send it to the manufacturer of the catalytic converter. Every step of this production chain, we're using, we are burning raw materials. You know, we have to drive this platinum, these products, to the manufacturer, and that, that requires a lorry. At every step in the chain, we can look into how each company deals with their staff, their environment, and their economic policies. Why did I choose a catalytic converter? Well, this product assists in reducing emissions. So it's nice to see the root of such a product. The root is simpler because of the platinum coming mainly from South Africa. I am South African. I'm not an outsider looking in. I can say that the living standards of miners are poor. There is an unfair balance of wealth in this regard. Corruption, as I've said, and so on. At any given moment, we are in a state of cooperation. Even when we're not consciously cooperating, we're still cooperating. Many human actions are unconscious, relying on mental shortcuts and prime behavior. Repetition of our thinking and our activities remove the conscious awareness of an activity and place us in a pre-conscious automatic state of mind. For example... As I carry on driving my petrol power vehicle, I don't question where the rubber comes from, from my, in, in terms of my tires. However, when there is a mismatch between what I believe should be occurring in my environment to what is presented to my senses, I awaken out of this pre-conscious automatic state and I can now act on the difference. The Firestone rubber in my tires. I did not know that the workers required 20-hour work shifts. And the only way you can work for 20 hours is if you bring your family to work. We need a new definition of consumerism. A modern, how about this? A modern movement for the protection of the consumer against unfair labor practice, poor economic policy, useless, inferior, or dangerous products, misleading advertising, unfair pricing, and so on. When we, the consumers, are provided with all the information, we are in a better position to make choices that are in keeping with our world view. For example, did you know, in 1994 there was already a battery-powered vehicle, not some space module-looking device, a normal vehicle that can drive 150 miles on one charge, and a safe battery, nickel metal hydride, but the motor car companies and the oil companies bought out the patents, bought out the factories, and stifled the development. In terms, we did not, we did not get any more electric vehicles that we can buy. Ivory Coast leads the world in the production and export of the cocoa beans. Many companies benefiting from the use of child labor. Many not paid, but only beaten. Even in 2011, Nestle is trying to reduce their child labor. And it's not only Nestle. We eat chocolate. Are we not cybernisticians? Buying the chocolate in the store is only a partial arc of that circle of this chocolate. There is a root to that chocolate. There are organizations creating great awareness. We are dealing with companies like Monsanto who make organic, genetically modified organisms. And why are they buying out organic seed merchants? Why would a company that makes GM food buy organic seed merchants? And now Monsanto own more organic seeds than anybody else. And this is the same company who made Agent Orange. And they work where they're going in the future, the Terminator seed. It's you can use it once then it does not give you another yield. So we can fight things like this. But they, these organizations cannot do it alone because the market forces of demand and supply are too strong. If we isolate the immediate cause, it does not solve the problem. We can close down the factory that exploits child labor, but it's only a momentary solution. The violation continues 
and another factory exploiting child labor is established in a different area. The problem resurfaces as the nature of the system and its vested interests allow for the same or similar problems to manifest until the problem is framed in a manner that highlights the recursive nature of the relationship between the different stages and the connections of any product or service or behavior, a lasting solution eludes our efforts. We need a new thinking. At any given point, I can ask, what am I cooperating with at this instant? When did I start cooperating with this? Do I agree to continue cooperating without regard? Who is benefiting? Where did this thinking originate? Is a change needed? And who is going to pick up these pieces? These are the surrealist portraits of the angsts and fear in our technology-driven world by the Japanese creator Tsutsuya Ishida. There is the worker on, the, on your left. Packaged nice and neatly. Here on the right we have his rendition of the workers at the Foxconn uh, dormitory. You can see there's no legs. <laughs> Who needs legs when you need to work that long? I want to know if I buy these products, I'm supporting this or cooperating with this situation of suicide nets. If I buy that product, soccer balls, I'm cooperating with sweatshop where children are working under very poor conditions. That product and that situation. And I'm not saying don't go and buy these products because these people still need wages. But they don't need these conditions. K, Metal, K Electronics Company, Microsoft Webcams, uh, Dell, Logitech, I can name a good case study after case study. Yes, it is common in China for people to work, to sleep in their lunch break, but it's not common for 16 and 17 year olds to work and then do another four hour shift and then go and sleep in that. Here we got the draw, the draw slide, sold at Home Depot. You can't read it, but it says $12. But the workers earn 32 cents an hour. In order to improve production, the, the, the manufacturers took the safety features off their CNC, that's computer numeric controlled machines. So they're losing six fingers a month there. In order to produce that. It is a problem when people are in a state of continuous cooperation without awareness of this cooperation and how it is negatively impacting nature and those around them. A further problem is the attitude of, I've been using this product, or I've been behaving like this for as long as I can remember. It hasn't harmed anyone. As I drive to work daily, I continually cooperate with this, but I want to know the root of the products and its impact on the world. I would like the opportunity to determine if the product or service is in keeping with my worldview. We don't have time. Bottom line, there are many green products, genuinely green products, but there are a lot of products that are black painted green. We need to look into the root of these products. We've done case studies on eco-friendly homes. I present to you my root and responsibility model, a responsibility rating for each step in the production or service chain. I would love to empower and educate consumers as to the awareness of the systemic connections between all the links in the production or service chain. And companies can apply this model to their products or services and market their responsibility ratings for each step so the public can decide if they like it. Just as food manufacturers are required to state the ingredients on a package, so too are the workers, the environmental use or abuse economic policies, they are also the ingredients of any product and or service. Thank you. The rating can be applied as a minimum certification standard imposed by independent standardization bodies. End users voice or their approval by either purchasing or refrain from purchasing companies that do not have adequate responsibility ratings. Companies in violation of acceptable social practice cannot plead ignorance as to the goings-on in their own or their supplier's chain of production. 
Companies compete in an atmosphere of total disclosure, a new ethic of consumerism. Similar to how the ISO standard is applied, but instead of only applying it to quality, we apply it across the board, right down to the suppliers. These, these are some of the, the things I'm interested in. Supplier standings. A company can only get certified if their suppliers are certified. Anti-competitive behavior. Social conscience. A challenge to change. The free choice of consumers should dictate the economic structure of a society. U.S. soldiers vomited when they liberated the Dachau concentration camps. The visual imagery was too strong. I want to see the behind the scenes at the companies that I'm supporting through my purchases. Thank you. <laughs>